In this lecture, let's talk about the elements of depreciation. So what is depreciation? Imagine I have an item that I bought and after a year or two, I will sell it. I, of course, I cannot sell it for uh, the same price that I bought it because I have already used it for two years. That's what we call depreciation. I have here a graph to show that. Uh, let's have the x-axis equal to the time and the y-axis representing the cost. Now, at the start of, of my period, uh, when I buy the item, I have here the first cost, which is large. And after, after the lifespan of the item, we represent the lifespan as N. We have here the salvage value. Uh, this this graph, this line shows or tells us the cost of our item or our product. So as you can see, it will degrade the cost as time passes by. So this is the salvage value and this here is what we call the depreciation. Okay, it's, it's a distance from the original cost to the salvage value. Now, if I have an arbitrary time M, we call this the book value at M. So, the book value, it's the current value at that time, at that point in time. And this is the depreciation at that point in time. So... Here are some basic definitions or basic elements of depreciation. We have different methods for calculating the depreciation. We have here one of the most common methods used in calculating depreciation. It's called the straight line depreciation. From the name itself, straight line, uh, it simply means that the cost or the book value, the cost, has linear variation so it's a line the cost uh, the graph of the cost is a line so from there we can see that uh, if this is the if this represents our depreciation for for the time n we can see that the depreciation is simply equal to FC minus SV or the first cost minus the salvage value. Now, if I want, uh, since this is a linear variation, if I want to get the depreciation per year, let's represent it as letter D as the depreciation per year. We simply divide, divide this quantity by the number of years so the depreciation per year is equal to the first cost minus salvage value over the number of years n from there we can compute for the value of d sub m d sub m is the depreciation at time m so if if this is time m the depreciation at that time is simply equal to the depreciation per year times M. So, these three are the basic formulas for straight line depreciation. Let's have an example for the straight line depreciation method. So, here's the question. What is the value of an asset after 8 years of use if it depreciates from its original value of $120,000 to its salvage value of 3% in 12 years? Now, to answer this question, first let's identify the givens. We have here 8 years. Okay. Uh -huh. The original value is $120,000. Salvage value of 3%. Salvage value of 3% in 12 years. 
Now, let me write those down in terms of our variables. I can see that the first cost or FC is equal to 120,000. I can also see that the salvage value is 3%. So, 3% of the first cost, that's 0 0.03 times 120,000. That means that the first cost is equal to 3, that's equal to 3,600. Okay, 3,600. Now, if I go back here, in 12 years, uh, so I'm saying that the lifespan of my product is 12. Okay, now, we are being asked the value of the asset after 8 years. If I have an arbitrary year, I represent that as letter, the letter M, the variable M. Okay. Now we are ready. We have our variables from our definition or our equations of the straight line method. The the yearly depreciation is equal to the first cost minus salvage value over n, which is equal to hundred twenty thousand minus 3,600 over 12. So, that's 120,000 minus 3,600 over 12. Oops, that is equal to, this is equal to, D is equal to 9,700. Now, I want to get uh, the depreciation after m years after 8 years so d sub 8 is equal to from the equation d sub m is equal to d times m so if i substitute 8 d sub 8 is equal to 9700 times 8 so the depreciation after 8 years is equal to 77,600. So that's the total depreciation after 8 years. Uh, we are being asked what is the value after 8 years. So we simply subtract the depreciation to the first cost to get the book value. The book value after 8 years is equal to the first cost 120,000 minus 77,600 which is equal to 42,400 dollars so that is our book value that's the value of our asset after 8 years